Chords Mode here in GarageBand iOS is one of the easiest ways to add some cool sounds to your projects. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Chords Mode. Let's go. To learn more about how to create, record and release your best music using GarageBand, check out the other videos down in the description. Step one, let's add an instrument that uses chords. We're going to use the keyboard. Let's tap more sounds, go into our keyboards and tap on the classical grand. Pretty much every keyboard instrument uses chords as well as some others that we'll show you at the end of the video. You can of course play chords by tapping on individual notes here, or we can go into chords mode. To do that, we tap in the bottom right on the chord strips button. To play chords, we press on one of the five spaces along the treble side here, such as the C chord here. And this will play different triads, that's three notes in the C scale. And if you wanna know the different inversions and chord structures used, the first one starts down here on the E, E, G, C, then G, C, E, C, E, G, E, G, C, and finally G, C, and E. And obviously those change based on the root note of the chord you're playing. You can also play bass notes to go along with your chord, which is the root note, the fifth, and then the root note down an octave. Tapping them together, you can get some cool effects. You can also combine a treble chord with a different bass note. Say you wanted a C chord, but with a bass note of E, we can combine different chords and different bass notes to get some unique chord arrangements. Here in chords mode, you also have auto play, which changes things up a little bit and gives you some automated chord progressions. I cover autoplay in detail in another video you can find down in the description or straight after this one. You can use sustain on chords by tapping and holding on the sustain button and tapping a chord. And releasing the sustain button to turn it off. You can also latch sustain on by sliding to the right. And now sustain will stay on until you slide it back to the left. To record in some chords, we just hit the record button and start playing. By default, you'll get chords that work well within the key that you've selected. However, if you want to change those, there's a couple of ways you can do it. The first method is to come up to your settings, tap on that one, and then tap on this one, the key signature. At the moment, it's in C major. If we change this to, say, E major, you'll see that all of the chords are now those that would be relevant for E major. We can change it to any major or minor chord that we like, and it will keep changing. Let's go back to C major, where we started from. The other way to edit chords is is to once again tap on the settings icon and tap on this edit chords. We can now tap an individual chord. So say we didn't want to use this B diminished. We can tap on that one and let's change it up. Say we wanted a C, uh, C5 here instead with an add nine and a root note here of an E. You can see here, we can change it and get a very interesting different chord to use to complement our existing chords. And if you want to return to the original chord, just hit the revert button. And finally, there are some other instruments that use the chords mode, such as the guitar. If we add a guitar here, you'll notice that we're defaulted into chords mode. We can play chords now by tapping on the note, or we can actually strum up the strings. So we can change between notes mode and chords mode using the options here. And strings also have a chords mode. This time to play pizzicato, we tap in a section, or we can tap and drag up and down in a bowing motion to play chords as well. There you have it, chords mode here in GarageBand, a great way to add a little bit of flavor to your tracks here in GarageBand iOS. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording, and releasing your best music, check out the other videos down in the description, and I'll see you next time.